Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to determine the turning diameter and drift factor of your vessel under any combination of sail. You can use this in some cases for a man of board recovery, approaching a mooring buoy with the wind astern, or approaching a dock with the wind aft. Follow these easy tips along with the illustrations. Here we are under our mainsail and a working jib, and we get onto a deep broad reach where the wind is turned. For the wheel, turn the wheel all the way over to one stop to turn the vessel up into the wind. If using a tiller, hold the tiller all the way over to one side to turn the vessel up into the wind, as shown. Notice once we come out of the turn, we will have a specific drift factor. Your drift factor will depend on vessel design both above and below the waterline, type and amount of sail being carried, and wind velocity. You can use turning diameter and drift factor to know the amount of room your boat needs to make a turn and the distance required for your vessel to drift to a stop in a specific wind velocity. These two boat handling characteristics can be vital to know for man overboard recovery, picking up a mooring buoy from a downwind approach, or approaching a dock under sail with the wind aft. Practice these maneuvers in open water to determine your boat's turning diameter and drift factor in various velocities of wind under mainsail alone, headsail alone, and different combinations of sail. Use easy sailing tips like these for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.